Hey guys, welcome back to a tutorial. Sorry that I've been away for a while. Um, I've just been very, very busy with different things and just haven't got around to the time to make a video. So today I'm going to bring you a quick video on Canvas UI. And this is going to be how to scale Canvas UI properly so that it fits on every other display and there's no clipping against the edges or um, some of your UI elements don't show up because of... Uh, because the screen scales are different than the one that you're working on so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into that so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to come here to your game scene and you're going to set your resolution to whatever development environment you're going to be working on if it's going to be 4k set it to 4k if it's going to be 1080p set it to 1080p or 2k or whatever so i'm going to set mine to 1080p and so basically what i'm saying at the minute is I want to develop on a 1080p uh, screen but I want it to work on every monitor downscale and if a monitor is 4k there then some of the t um, UI elements might be a little bit off look and we'll see what that looks like soon and um, so we're going to go in here to UI and then we're going to bring in just a canvas and inside this canvas we have these settings here so we're going to keep all these except we're going to change this canvas scaler and we're going to put it to uh, with screen size and here it's going to say reference uh, resolution so you can set this to whatever you want but because we're using 1080p we're going to do 1920 by 1080 and now if we go back into our scene view we have this 1920 by 1080p um canvas so that's pretty much it that like that's going to scale to any monitor and the one check that we're going to do is we're going to add a ui image and we'll give it a sprite of this just so we can see wait no that's a bad idea this one yes yeah, so we're the wrong side Boop always happens so we want this to be up the top left of the screen so if we just leave that there and we come back here and we switch to 4k you can see that it it stays there but what we can also do is just clamp it up to the top right of our top left of the screen so now when you do change it just it stays there but now if we go to a lower resolution like uh, this one it still stays up in the corner or uh, free aspect it, it, it's always going to stay up in that corner just because it is scaling with the screen size and keeping it up there which is really handy because you could have nice UI elements and then it will go to from one screen to another and it will all be clipping and on top of each other so it's just it's just not nice so if i duplicate this here and i put it underneath with that little gap so that's what it looks like in 1080p 4k standalone still keeping that distance very very similar still keeping the distance still up in that corner and it, it still looks good so that is how you get a canvas ui to scale to any monitor size and um, you can play around with this and mess around with some more and look into different things and you might find something else that i don't know but this is generally what i do in mobile development or anything at all that involves the ui canvas uh, and different screen sizes so that is the best way to do it in my books if you know a better way please let me know down below other than that guys that's today's video it's good to be back and hopefully I'll get another one out this week and I plan to come up with a schedule as well for um for uploading videos. So I was thinking every Sunday and Wednesday or every Sunday and Thursday or something like that. But for today, we're just not gonna work off a schedule, we're just gonna I'm just gonna get this video here. But thank you all so much for watching and um, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video where we will go back to some more scripting and maybe move on to some newer things and the daisy series i think i'm going to skip the character controller part and go straight into the main mechanics of the game uh, just because the character controller part is going to take so long to develop 
and then we can come back to it at the end or something so if, until then we're just going to use the standard first person character controller uh, bring in some survival aspects inventories all the good stuff and then we'll go to the camera switching so that is it for today guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you again adios